A synth heads. Today we're going to talk about synthfinity stones. No, not really. Hey, this is Pure Ambient Drone, and this is my channel where I talk about synthesizers. I review them, I demo them, and I make electronic music. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and tap that bell, and let's get on with this video. Well, today I want to talk about synth. Infinity stones, and yes, I'm making this up. I want to talk about how different synthesizers are used for different things in our music tracks. And I just got done watching the Infinity War movie, uh, The Avengers. I seen it in the theaters, but I went ahead and got myself a copy of the movie on DVD as well. And I uh, took note how Thanos, the bad guy, was using the Infinity Stones uh, for separate tasks to do different things that needed to be done. And it got me thinking about synthesizers. Why? Because I'm always thinking about synthesizers. So today I want to talk about using synthesizers for what they're made for and out of the box as well. So in front of me, I have a few of my synthesizers, and I'll let you take a look at some of these because I know a lot of you are curious about what I have here in the studio. I have the uh, OB6 from DSi, and it's uh, sister right here, the Prophet 6. Then I have the Prophet X in front of me along with a Access Virus C, and then right next to that, I have the Roland JD-XI, which actually is not mic'd up. This is not even going to the mixer. It hasn't done so for quite a while. Uh, it is actually being used as a MIDI controller. And uh, this is like a little palette of sound that I have here. Oh, I, I neglected to, to show you the uh, TR-8 uh, right here which I don't have hooked up either at this time because I've been doing a lot of uh, remodeling in my uh, studio. I've actually been getting these nice, l nice little synth racks and I've been trying to uh, just work around the wires and stuff. I had someone that was helping me a while back uh, lay these wires, a, a skinny young guy that could get up underneath the tables and run the wires for me. And uh, he's not available these days. And uh, you can see what a mess I've been making. But uh, anyway, uh, right to the point here I want to get to. Different synthesizers are used for different sound palettes within the track. Now, you can see the array of musical tracks I have just on this one rack right here. I have two poly synths that I believe complement one another absolutely superbly. And then there's the uh, Prophet X down here. The Prophet X is a beast all unto its own. Uh, I'm excited over this synthesizer. I like coming in here. It's one of the first synthesizers that I reach for. And it's not because it's my newest synth. It's not. But because of the samples and because of the sound quality and the build quality, uh, you might say I'm in love with the synthesizer uh, all around. Uh, this is a keeper. Um, you, you know what? For me, I can throw away the box. I say that in terms meaning that I'm not ever going to sell this Prophet X. So, but then, then there's the uh, Access Virus C. So, so let's look at this. Right here, you have your digital VA, okay? This is a monster by itself in the VA world. I rely on my Access Virus C for so many of my tracks. And then it, it's, it, it gets, it gets complemented by the Prophet X. You can bring in real world samples to give some texture, some real world texture to what your uh, track needs. Then you got your uh, synthesizers that are analog and poly synths right here. Now, I do have some mono synths, but they're packed away right now because of all the stuff that I'm doing. Um, these 
give you that hardcore flavor of analog. You really want to mix these synthesizers into your tracks to give it a palette of sound to blend in so that you have a three-dimensional sound coming from your track. Then over here, I have some more synthesizers. I have this wonderful, wonderful Juno 106. This thing has been fully restored and it sounds absolutely wonderful. I actually did a sound demo on this. So if you want to check that out on my channel, go ahead and search for that. And then I have a synthesizer that I don't think a lot of people give love to. It is the Behringer DeepMind 12. It gets a bad rap on some of the forums that I, I uh, read about it on. I don't know. Uh, people can be pretty cruel when it comes to synthesizers. This, uh, the claim of fame to this one was supposed to be that the Juno 1, it is supposed to be a Juno 106 on steroids. I don't think that it is. I think it's a wonderful machine all by itself. And Behringer could have easily have marketed it without comparing it to a vintage synthesizer. But I don't actually think they did market it uh, comparing it. I, I think maybe that's what the community did. But anyway, uh, this is a wonderful synthesizer. And uh, I, I like it because it has its own unique sound as well. Uh, down here, I don't have it turned on right now. Um, it is a Yamaha Montage, okay? And you're going to see a mic stand in front. So you got a part of the mess. And then uh, my DSi Evolver, Poly Evolver. Love the Poly Evolver. And these are all palettes of sound that I'm creating in my tracks. I don't use every single synthesizer I have in every single track that I do. I don't do that. Um, I don't, I don't have a need for that. But I do like pulling out uh, synthesizers to paint a picture, to paint a picture, okay? And I have more synthesizers than this. I have a lot of them put away because I'm trying to redo some things here in the studio. I also upgraded my, uh, my DAW system here. I got uh, three monitors now so that I can keep my tracks centralized right here okay i can see all of my workflow and then um i can open up additional windows over here and then i have what i call the most important part of my studio okay right there you see that i have to have one of those every morning i think i'm addicted uh, but getting back to the sound palette thing if you use the same synthesizer on every single one of your um, tracks in a music recording, that's great. Uh, and I've done it. I've, I've taken one synthesizer and it made a whole track out of it, just multi-layering. Multi it, it can be done and it can work. Uh, I like the freedom of choices, though, with a sound palette. And that's how I pick my synthesizers. I look around at what I already have, and if a synthesizer on the market isn't fulfilling something that I don't already have, I have to think twice about getting it. Now, you also have to remember the usability of a synthesizer as well. And I'm going to make a video about that, um, about this subject. I had a synthesizer in this studio, my studio that was for me, for me, very difficult uh, to adapt to with the workflow that it had. I'm going to do a video on that. I'm thinking I'm going to call it the synthesizer I hated and loved or something like that. So watch out for that video. But right now I am really painting a picture as to what my music and what my tracks want to sound like and i'm i'm always rediscovering myself right and i have to have synthesizers that have the power and adapt adapt adaptability to uh evolve with me uh, nobody stays the same okay so anyway uh, that's what i want to talk about today i thought it'd be funny to say the word uh synthfinity stone <laughs> if you will 
and just, you know, paint a picture with your synthesizers. Um, been kind of taking the day off today, uh, watching the uh, Avengers uh, Infinity Wars with my family and just kind of relaxing, but uh, that part of the day is over with. So I'm going to have to actually get off of here and get some music done because I have made a promise to myself that Monday through Friday was music day for me. So I'm trying to uphold that as best I can. Hey, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. It encourages me to continue with these videos and leave a comment. We love hearing from you. Who's we? All of us on here. Like I say all the time, we have some of the smartest people contributing to this channel, okay? You guys are brilliant out there, and I appreciate all of your input. And until next time, this is Pure Ambient Drone. Cheers.